the next head coach that we want to talk about, man, something about advocating for people's jobs to be lost just gets me fired up. I mean, just look at these pit stains that I have on my shirt. I don't know if you guys can see or not, but it just gets me rallied up. It gets me heated, and this next one is definitely going to get me heated because I, as a Falcons fan, am in a crisis. I love Dan Quinn, DQ, as a person, but as a coach, man. As a coach, oh my gosh. I say it's time to go. Just me personally. Just looking at the the, the coaching that he's been, uh, or, or the positions that he's been putting the Falcons in for the past five years that he's been with the Atlanta Falcons, he puts us in positions to win. And that's it. And then anything after that is free game. We lose. After that, we blow the lead. And I wanted to really dive into this because is this a Dan Quinn issue or is it just luck of the draw, coincidence, just so happens that we blow a 25-point lead against the Patriots in the Super Bowl, blow a lead against Chicago, 16-point lead, we blow a lead against the Dallas Cowboys. Is this a reoccurring issue or is it just coincidence? So I wanted to do a little bit of research and I found that Pro Football Reference, a very well-respected site, credible, gives any stats NFL-related. Almost everything. They have the 50 biggest blown leads by the Atlanta Falcons on there. I think that's a dig to Atlanta, but they decided to create a whole entire page about it. And I believe you could find any other teams uh, as well. So the Patriots and Dolphins and any other team in the NFL, 50 biggest blown leads by by an organization. And I found the Atlanta Falcons. I'm going to throw it up on the uh, screen. And I wanted to see how many blown leads did Dan Quinn blow in his tenure with the Atlanta Falcons. So if we... Uh, pull it up, pull up the graphic right here. So the most recent blown leads, obviously we know about the Chicago Bears. Uh, we know about the Dallas Cowboys. That happened in, uh, in 2020. That was a 16-point lead by the Bears. A 20-point lead by the Cowboys that was blown. Then you look back even further. You've got 2017, a couple games in 2017. This is post-Super Bowl. This is just fresh from the Super Bowl, by the way. So we, Atlanta, fan, uh, Atlanta fans, we're triggered, okay? We we are triggered. We don't want to see another blown lead, but it happens. In 2017, against the Carolina Panthers, we blew a 10-point lead. Against the Miami Dolphins in 2017, a 17-point a point blown lead. And then obviously you have the, the, the Super Bowl, which is the most memorable. That was a 25-point uh, lead that was blown. And then before that, I remember this game too. San Diego Chargers in 2016, 30-33 to was a final score. We blew a 17-point lead. I remember that game. And then against the Colts in 2015, we blew a 14-point lead. So you look at these most recent blown leads. This is a reoccurring issue of Dan Quinn. The defense is not that good, I understand. The offense is fantastic but missed some pieces here and there. The offensive line has been bad for so uh, for so long. You could do so much with the defense, with the offense, and even though it may not be the best roster, this roster that they have is at least good enough, I would say, to go maybe 7-9, and 8-8, eight and eight, maybe compete for a playoff spot, maybe 9-7. and seven. Who knows? At the very least. But somehow, some way, 0-4. Should be 2-2, two and two, but it's 0-4. So, uh at this point, Dan Quinn and, 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 like I mentioned, Thomas Dimitrov, the general manager, they're on the hot seat, and Dimitrov has been on the hot seat for the last five, ten years, ever since his days with Mike Smith. But uh, Dan Quinn, he's 43-41. to 41. That's his record uh, in the uh, tenure that he's been with the Atlanta Falcons. Only two winning seasons in the last five years, and this will be another losing season, so two winning seasons in six years. The Super Bowl started it. The Super Bowl started his decline, and that was the one window in the 2016 season that you had to win a Super Bowl, that you had a roster good enough to win the Super Bowl. And then the Mercedes-Benz Stadium opens up. Okay, well, maybe the 2017 season. You're still in that window. You still have plenty of the uh, of the same players. You can still win. Even though you lost Kyle Shanahan, you can still win. And after blowing whatever it was against the Philadelphia Eagles and uh, the playoffs and just costing that game and not winning it, that's when the window just kind of fizzled out and now they're in a real rebuilding process you got to start all over if you want to get back to the Super Bowl so these blown leads are coaching issues whether it be Kyle Shanahan we know we talked about uh, him earlier in, in a previous episode blowing the lead with the Atlanta Falcons in the Super Bowl but also blowing the lead with the San Francisco 49ers this could also be a Dirk Cutter their offensive coordinator right now but this is just all coaching whether it be a staff thing you need to get rid of offensive coordinators and head coaches 
I believe at this point, you got to get rid of the head coach. You got to move on from Dan Quinn, even though the players love him, even though in 2019, they rallied in the second half after starting one and seven and then finishing that season uh, seven and nine. At this point, you got to move on with Dan Quinn. 